Hello YouTube, and welcome to episode 4, 5, I don't know. Welcome back to Minecrafting with the Wox. I am the Wox, as you well know, and oh, creepers. Did he see me? He did. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was done there for a second. Done for there for a second. Okay, I've been doing a little bit of work on the wax hole. Let's have a look in here. Huh? I did actually tape the building of all of this, or at least I thought I did, but due to general incompetency, I didn't. Angry. Okay, let's go in. Let's close the uh, close the hatch here, the wax hatch, to the wax hole. So let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! It's bigger. I have a little bedroom here, with my creeper bed. It's very, uh, very important that, the creeper bed. So let's close that off. We need some paintings in there, by the way. And another door over here. I wonder what's behind here. Let's see! Oh, my torch! There we go. Is that correct? No, it's not. That is. It's my wheat farm! Isn't that cool? Look, it even has a little skylight and everything. But I think it's cool. You guys don't know what's cool. This is cool. So today, I was thinking maybe we could uh, try our hand at building that reed farm I've been talking about, huh? So let's go back to the uh, to the Waxian mines, which should be over there. Over the over yonder, and uh, what we're gonna do, you see, is grab all the redstone and pistons that we can get, grab some reeds, and and we'll build the uh, the automated reed farm. Yes, haha. <laughs> if I can remember how to build it, I should be able to. I just hope we have enough redstone. Then again, we don't need a very big one, and it's actually surprisingly easy to build. That is. But I will show you. We'll do a little uh, build slash tutorial thing. So I'm not really going to give you the steps, but I'm going to build one. And uh, if you're interested, keep watching. And you too shall be able to build a fully automated reed farm. Ha <laughs> ha! So who saw the 1.8 update video? Raise your hand. I did. Oh, Sky Bagel. It revealed. Nothing. Oh my goodness. I thought it was going to reveal all the epic stuff, but it didn't. It just showed a few images that we've been- Oh my god! No pig! Oh, he's gone. He's a goner. Look at this. Have you ever seen a world hole this big? This is crazy. <laughs> this is... Okay, let's uh... Ooh, I gotta re-log, but you'll see my IP. Better pause the video. Okay, if I am not mistaken, you did not see that. And, ooh, coal. I don't need any. So that was an enormous world hole, my god. I've never seen one that big. I sure hope those are fixed by the, uh, by the 1.8 patch. Because if that patch breaks multiplier again, I will scream and... Whoa, where do you think you're going, squid? Look at this. It's, it's a turbo squid. Look at that. <laughs> Would you stop glitching out on my lawn? There, yeah, that's a good squid. You stay. I'm watching you. Oh my god, it's like he's on a sugar rush. <laughs> It's like a, like a crazy super squid. Oh my god, it's more. We've got a glitching squid everywhere. <laughs> I shall name them... Nothing, because they're squid. Squid don't have names. Okay, let's take these, these pistons. That's always a good idea, because uh, they're not too expensive to make. But why make them? If you can grab them! So let's get these. There should be plenty of them. 
And I do recall having a sticky piston on me. Somewhere. I used to have a sticky piston on me. I'm sure it's at the base. And, uh, oh my goodness, get out of my way, you crazy squid. Let's grab a bit of reed, because you never do know. Get the note block. Yes, bluing. Uh, ooh, we'll get rid of... Ah, eh, nobody likes sandstone. Ah, and you, sticky piston. Fine, I'll get rid of the wood. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm. Huh. For some reason, I'm able to pick all of it up now. Let's see. More sandstone. Let's get rid of that. Let's grab the redstone. Because it's mine. <laughs> oh. There we go. Okay, let's see how much we got. 20 of it. 21. Eh, it's not too shabby, but we'd better go down into the Voxian mines to see if we have any more. Because I think 20 might just do it, but I'd rather be on the safe side. So let's go take a look downstairs. Down in the Voxian mines. So I hear that the 8th of September is the release date of the 1.8 patch, which is Thursday, coming Thursday, which means that um, well, everything I'm building here is a bit arbitrary. We got no redstone. Oh my goodness. Up here, no redstone. Oh well, we won't be deterred. We shall go and build using the tiny amount of redstone that I have. In any case, I'm guessing I'll just uh, rebuild the base I'm building now. Because I kind of like that base. It feels like home. So yes, yeah, Thursday I'm going to reload the world. It's amazing. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> All these epic creations. And, and you, you can just... Bet your life on it that there's going to be a whole lot of new multiplayer bugs. God knows what it's going to do to the uh, to the server. And then he's going to fix them, and I'm going to have to restart the world again, and oh my god! And I'm also wondering what to do with these NPC villages. I really don't want to trade. Apparently they're going to trade items. Now, maybe it's just me. But I don't like that idea. I do not like the idea of being able to trade items with NPCs in Minecraft. Because that's just not what Minecraft is, is it? Minecraft is supposed to be... What is it supposed to be? Minecraft is supposed to be Minecraft. Not bloody World of Warcraft. No, uh, no offense to those that like to play World of Warcraft, but I do not. I find them severely limiting. And Minecraft is not severely limiting. And it should not start to limit me. Brr. I'm placing sand out of ra out of rage. Oh. Okay, that's enough silly Not again. Oh please, not again. No My base. I can see it, but I cannot reach it. Because of massive world holes. Oh well, <laughs> I'll have to relog. Okay, there we go. Haha, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Crazy world holes today, my goodness. I wonder what what causes that, really. Oh well. It seems to be coming nighttime. It seems to be becoming nighttime. My goodness, my English does not work. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you bloody foreigner! Speak English for God's sake, man! So, that was the, uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, I remember now. Oh, we got four more redstone there. And one redstone repeater. 
That's half of what we need. Excellent. Let's uh, dump some stuff in this chest. Uh, like so. Oh, there's my sticky piston. Not my stew. I need my stew. And my arrows. Don't need my sand. There we go. Bone meal. Okay. Let's chop out a room here. I'm gonna have to think. Right. So, we're gonna need a row of pistons. And that row of pistons shall have to be... Ooh, this is a toughie. This is a toughie indeed. So, this is where I will lay lay down some redstone. And then I'll place some pistons on this layer here. Yeah, I can I can feel it. This will work. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll go around like that. Let's grab the pistons. So what I'm doing right now, sorry, I was going to do a little bit of a tutorial thing, wasn't I? What I'm doing right now is just uh, trying to place these pistons, which we will place, conveniently, at the second block. This will be where the, uh, the reeds are planted, and this is where they will be pushed by the piston. Indeed. So, uh, yeah, about three of them should work. So then we've got the uh, the water, of course, because you need water. So there we go. That's where the water would go. And then uh, I think I'll do another row. So that would be there. So we'll have... We won't have many. But it'll be fine. Because who needs many reeds anyway? Uh, then the pistons behind them. And dig down one extra block. For the uh, for the redstone, you see. Actually, that might not work. We'll have a look if that works or not. We'll, we'll see. It might not. Probably won't. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's place some dirt here. Because we cannot place reeds on uh, on stone. No, we cannot. There we go. Okay, so the idea is that we build a special type of sensor, you see. But before we do that, we shall attempt to activate these pistons using redstone. So let's do a little test here. We'll need a lever. So, oh, there we go. Some redstone. A stick. And a lever. There we go. So we'll plop that one uh, down there. And we'll go see if this actually powers the piston. It probably won't. Nope, I was afraid of that. Okay. So what we need to do is not place the redstone there. We need to place the redstone on top of it. That's where it needs to go. So, whoops. Whoa, 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 Minecraft. Cool it now. So what we need to do, I'm a little cramped here, is first of all place some wood on top of these, uh, these pistons. Not because it has to be wood, it can be any material really, but mostly because I like the look of this wood. I love this wood. So there we go. And now we have to place the redstone on top. Whoa! No, 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 not again. Let's eat some stew. Nom. Whoops. <laughs> there. Much better. I was about to say, are you going to be falling anytime soon? There we go. So... Oh my goodness, this is, uh... 
This is terrible. There we go. Play some more dirt then. Okay. Like I was saying, you got your pistons here, your block here, whatever it may be, and you place the redstone on top, you see. And what happens is when you power this block, say by lever, like so, and you pull it, haha, <laughs> this redstone up here gets powered. That powers this block, which powers this block. It's, it's, uh, just take it from me. This is how it works. So, piston, block, redstone on top. Let's do that to the other side as well. Oops. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> just sabotaged myself. Be cautious around these. More wood. And a little light, perhaps. There we go. Okay, sand, come falling down then. I know you want to, but it won't. Hmm. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so let's place some redstone on these. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay. So that's for that part, right? Now let's, uh, for the sake of being useful, bring that redstone down. Like so. So that's one there. And then over here. Whoops. We shall bring the redstone down. And now if I place my lever here. Haha. -ha. Okay. So now we have the uh the functional part. Now we need the magic, don't we? We need this special sensor. And we're gonna build it somewhere over here. So let me just chop some out. And I'll teach you how to make one of these bad boys. I didn't invent these, mind you. The design I'm going to be teaching you is... Oh my god, I can't remember who invented it. Well, it was someone else. You'll find the video somewhere. So let's see. I had one of the... Yes. Okay, you'll need a repeater. Two of them, actually. So let me just uh, take my glass and burn some wood. While that's cooking, let's make uh, a redstone torch. And I need another one. You need three redstone torches. Well, you need two repeaters and one torch. Actually, I just need three. Because I need to make a repeater. Oh, I need three, f three for that, don't I? Okay, there we go, come on. Keep cooking now. Come on. There we go. So we put down these here, I do believe, and these, and bam, two repeaters, wonderful. Piston, so this is what you do. First, you place a the piston, bam. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, diagonally from it, you place a block, any block, really, and, okay, I thought it disappeared there for a moment. Oh, that's the 20 minute mark, but we're gonna ignore it because we're in the middle of this. So you got this here, right? Now, 
this is where it gets a little bit weird. But just follow this design and you'll be fine. Another block here. Uh, like so. And like a so. <laughs> Another block here. So we've got a repeater pointing towards this and a repeater here. This one is set to 1. This one is set to 2. So this one will go off later than this one. That's important. Now you take your redstone, you see. And you put it here like this. Then... Oh, wait a minute. This needs to be sticky piston. <laughs> I am a fool. So you take your sticky piston. Let me grab my sticky piston. There it is. Right, so you take your sticky piston and you put a block on it, like so. Any block. Anything except for a translucent block. So, uh, most things will do. Just don't put glass or anything like that there. That won't work. You dig a hole. Right there. Yes? So when this piston extends, it will cover the hole. That's important. So you get your, uh, your redstone levor. And you need another redstone torch. And we are not going to have enough redstone for this. Which is sad, really. And there we go. Oh, I had sticks on me, didn't I? Well, I'll be able to show you the sensor. Don't worry, we will have enough uh, for that. So what you do, place a block there, so it's torch, block, block, place your torch here, and as you can see, something just happened, all kinds of interesting thing are hap things are happening, you put your redstone right there, you see that, what's happening you see, is the torch under here, is powering this block, is powering this redstone line, is powering this block, is depowering this torch. That's how redstone torches work. They invert a signal. And then it sends it through these. First, it extends the piston. And then, it powers this block. And this is a little glitch. If you first power a piston, then power this block, and then the redstone signal falls, you can see there's no power on this this thing. No power at all, but it is still extended. That's a little bug. So if this is powered slightly after this, it, it stays extended. That is until, and this is where it gets very technical and very magical, that is until a block updates anywhere next to this piston. Watch this. Bam! It worked! Haha, <laughs> motion! And now removing this. Bam, another block update. Do you see that? So you can imagine if I dig down here and I build myself a little. If I place water here or blah, blah, blah. I'll place water there. What I do is I place my reeds here. It'll grow. And once it grows three high, well, that will be a block update, wouldn't it? It would be like placing a block, like so. And the moment that happens, this will update, send power to the rest of this, uh, this jolly nonsense here. And it'll push all of the reeds in. And then, in order to complete the thing, I shall place a piston here. Is that going to work? Did it mess the circuit up? No, it's just laggy. It will work in, a, in multiplayer, but it might lag. So 
I think. Oh my god, I need room. Room. There we go. So it's 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 not too big and not too difficult to make. Let's see, this is extended. No, no, no. That's the wrong way around. Oh well, I need more redstone for this. In any case, what we'll do in the end, in the official tutorial, I guess, which uh, will come in 1.8, is we will place... we'll do it now. I shall grab my bucket, assuming I have one, and oh my god, server lag! Quite a lot of it is... Oh, there we go. I have no bucket. Okay, we won't. Well, this is a well-prepared tutorial, isn't it? <laughs> now, we'll, we'll redo this tutorial very soon. But in any case, this is the magical block update detector. So just build it like I did, and any update next to this block, or this block, will trigger a redstone pulse. You can do all kinds of magical things with that. So, uh, yeah, I'll finish this room up some other time. <laughs> so, for now, thank you very much for watching. And my wheat is growing nicely. If you do like what you see, please do rate, comment, or even subscribe. I will see you in the next episode of Minecrafting with the Walks.